everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. Before I get into the video, y'all, I want to say you're going to see this look, this shirt. Well, there's not even a look. <laughs> I was like, I'm not dressing up. I'm on my winter break. And I have been going through it with eczema and different things from the weather going from hot to freezing. So I was like, I, I can't, I just, I don't feel like dressing up. But I did put on makeup for y'all, ha, ha, ha. But I just wanted to say, girl, what I want to say. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> I couldn't even remember. You know, you're going to see this shirt. And this me looking just like this for three videos in a row, y'all, because I got behind on my filming and then I was like girl you need to film don't miss a week you know keep it going so I just wanted to mention that because you're going to probably see back to back to back of this same look because usually I try to mix them up some but yeah you can probably see back to back of this same look so today's video is requested this is the layering video of all of the new releases from Bath and Body Works. I did this in the fall. So this is winter's version. Now, I do want to preface this by saying if there were repeats, I didn't do those because I've done layering videos in the past if they were brought back. Now, I do have one that was brought back that I'm going to show you a combination of because this was purchased during the semi-annual sale and I don't I can't remember if I did a layering combo with this one so that's the only reason so if, if you don't see some of the newer releases for uh winter 2022 in this video that is because I've already done um a layering combo using whichever fragrance mist you don't see here Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with Bright Christmas Morning. This has notes of ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. So this smells like, I don't know why I'm thinking, it smells like a, a some kind of drink. You really get that orange coming through. It's not one I love, okay? And I told y'all that. But... I said, let me try to find, what I did with quite a few of these, which I will mention, let me try to find something to see if I like it enough that I want to keep it. So this combo, what I decided to layer with Bright Christmas Morning is Kaoli Eden Juicy Apple 01. This to me is just the ultimate <laughs> fragrance mist, girly smelling fragrance mist, fruity, sweet, girly fragrance mist in a perfume formulation a little bit elevated that that's what it is to me so i was like this is just easy so let me see since this has apple in it and this has apple oh let me see what it does with you know layered together oh it makes it so good it's so good layered together it just makes eating juicy apple layered with bright christmas morning it makes it ju juicy, fruity, like a punch that's sweet and, you know, like, woo, party punch. That's what it gives me. I really do. I really like this combination. I really do. And again, that is Kaoli Eden Juicy Apple 01 layered with Bright Christmas Morning. All right, the next combination we're going to talk about is one I was very disappointed in, and that is... Well, the next fragrance mist we're going to talk about is Iced Sugar Plum. This has the notes of sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petals, and whipped marshmallow. I wanted this to be predominantly marshmallow. This is predominantly plum. It has kind of like a plum fluffiness to it. And I'm guessing that's the marshmallow helping it. But it makes, it makes me think plum. And anytime I have a plum fragrance mist, the first perfume I try with it is House of Siage Love is in the Air. Because this, to me, is a plum, powdery, um, kind of, I think it has a little vanilla in there, a little sweetness, but mostly I think it's a plum musk scent. So layer together with iced sugar plum. 
Oh my goodness, it gives it, this combination makes me like this mist because this mist adds a little, some, it adds a little more sweetness to Love is in the Air. And then together, it just gives like a plum, powdery, candy, fluffy scent that I really do enjoy. So I think I'm going to be keeping, it was Bright Christmas Morning and Ice Sugar Plum were two that I was like, I don't know if I'm keeping them. But I am going to keep them because I really do like these combinations. And again, this is the combo of Love is in the Air mixed with Ice Sugar Plum. Okay, so one that I absolutely loved, absolutely love at first sniff, Strawberry Snowflakes. This has notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. I already bought one back up of the mist already. And I just, oh, let me describe it. So the way I've always described this since I've, you know, since it's been in my collection, and it's the easiest way, I think, to help you all, you know, if you are Bath and Body Works lover, if you like strawberry pound cake, take the strawberry from, take the strawberry note from strawberry pound cake. If you like Boardwalk Taffy with the cotton candy kind of creamy sweetness, take those two aspects and maybe the whipped cream note from strawberry pound cake. And it gives you strawberry snowflakes. To me, it's a mixture of of those notes from strawberry pound cake and then the, the notes from boardwalk taffy that made this perfection i know it's soft it doesn't project as much as some people want but i love i love strawberry snowflakes so i decided to layer with it sweet tooth from sabrina carpenter now i've done a whole video just uh reviewing this i will link it above check it out because the original bar the freight the the bottle the bar i said a bar because it's like a pink candy bar that's what it looks like but that's not the one i'm using right now i'm using the travel spray so layer with sweet tooth with strawberry snowflakes oh it oh it's so good it's like strawberries and chocolate and whipped cream it is to die for Oh, y'all gotta tell you what this smells like. So, Sweet Tooth, it, it doesn't smell like a candy bar like I thought it would. It's a, it's kind of a chocolatey, marshmallowy, whipped cream, lactonic with some powderiness in there. And I'm telling y'all, these two together, you smell delicious. Absolutely delicious love this combo sweet tooth and strawberry snowflakes okay this next collection i'm going to show you is the one that was released for body care day and this is a collection i was like y'all i think they all going back so let's see if i feel the same way so the first one we're going to talk about is golden eclipse this has notes of glowing berries shimmering blossoms and sun warmed woods this smells nice it just smells like a berry scent. I mean, if you have a, I believe I said when I reviewed this, if you have a berry fragrance mist from, just think of your regular smegular body mist berry scent. If you have one ever in your life from Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, Walmart, anywhere you can get a berry mist, it's kind of what this is to me. It doesn't stand out, but it doesn't smell bad. It's just it's, it's a berry mist. That's what it smells like. So I decided to layer with it Cloud Musk um, perfume from Mix Bar. Because I was like, what can I do? This to me is a very musky, cloudy scent. It's kind of what I call one of those transparent fragrances you have some some fragrances that stick they stick to you you smell them this is kind of one it's very it's it's like like this you smell it and, it and it's just very transparent and airy that's how i describe it so layer with golden eclipse 
it makes it think of okay a musk scent kind of goes with your it sticks to your body chemistry it's kind of your skin but better this combination right here cloud musk mixed with golden eclipse it gives me your skin but better fragrance but the berry version it's very it's a very musky scent that you don't smell perfumey you kind of smell clean and like you use good body care but not perfume so it's a good day to day easy to wear when you not want to do the most or you just you just don't want to smell perfumey this is a good combination again this is cloud musk with golden eclipse so the next fragrance mist we're gonna talk about is Sapphire Moon. It has notes of sparkling pear, sheer freesia, and moonlit musk. This is one, I believe I say it, cause I kind of still feel the same way. If I'm, it's the pear and the freesia and the musk. They're kind of all, it doesn't smell bad, but it's not blended to me. I can pick up the pear. It's like its own separate thing. I can pick up the freesia. And then as it dries down, the musk comes out. So it's like they all, it's the ingredients together, but they all stand alone. And sometimes that's why when you just smell it from here, I'm like, it's not blended well. But that's what it smells like. It smells like every single note that's mentioned. So, and y'all know I'm, I'm tired of pear. Every time I look up from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret, you know the two notes that they love the most, I think. Well, two that I'm I'm getting tired of, coconut and pear. Pear and coconut. Pear more so with Victoria's Secret, but also with Bath and Body Works. It's just to me overdone. But this does smell nice. I, I get kind of maybe like hairspray vibes. So I was like, what do I want to layer with this? So I decided to layer with it Ariana Grande's God is a Woman. And I just took, brought it this way, but this is how I use it because this thing gets on my nerves. So this is kind of a sweet, a little creamy, but it has a shampoo-y freshness to it. So layered with God is a Woman layered with Sapphire Moon. It, do, it gives you a casual, shampoo-y, fresh scent. I mean, it, it just smells like, um, kind of like you took a shower, your hair is wet, you use some good shampoo, you smell clean, you smell, you know, shower fresh, shampoo fresh. That's kind of what this gives you, you know, like, like good hair products. I'm not, I wouldn't say um, high-end hair products. I would say maybe herbal essence, um, Aussie, those type of hair care products that smell really, really good. That's kind of what this gives me. So it is a nice combination. Again, this is Ariana Grande's God is a Woman mixed with Sapphire Moon. All right, lastly from that collection, we're going to talk about Prismatic Stars. I think this is the one that's the most popular out of this collection. This has notes of Raspberry Stardust, Mystic Plum, and Cosmic Cashmere. And this is another one I was like, it's, I just don't know. <laughs> Smelling it now, I get a lot of the raspberry. I get a lot of the plum. It, it, it's kind of, again, like a punch wine scent. So I was like, I kept looking at the notes. I kept smelling it like, what do I want to layer with this to make, to take it to the level of maybe I will just go, wow. So I layered Very Good Girl from Carolina Herrera. And this is a, is a cherry scent, but it's not like, it's not like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, okay? This is to me, I always think cherry powder when I think of this scent. So I decided to layer Very Good Girl with Prismatic Stars. And y'all, this combination gives off like a sexy, fruity wine scent, but with powderiness. And I love this combination. Oh, 
I was so surprised that it went together perfectly to me. I love this combination. Out of those three and this collection, this is my favorite combination. Very good girl with prismatic stars. So update on these fragrances. Let me tell y'all. I'm going to keep those three because those were the ones I was telling you I'm probably going to take back. I'm going to keep them. But I'll tell you what, starting in 2023, I'm going to figure out um, how I'm going to review and not just have missed that I don't love. I'm not sure. I know Bad That Body Works has changed your policy. This is a little tangent. So I'm not even sure if taking it back would be a you know strike against me i don't know but these combinations help me like the mist enough especially the last one prismatic stars and very good girl that's okay I, i'm just gonna keep them we're gonna let it be for now and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do in 2023 because i'm not just gonna keep having tons and tons of mist that i just don't love all right, so next we're going to talk about Winter Cherry Blossom. This has notes of Frosted Cherry Blossom, Ruby Berries, and Silky Amber. This is one that's reminiscent to Japanese Cherry Blossom, which I loved, but I don't ever want to wear it again because I wore it for years and I wore it out. Okay, I wore it out. And this to me is this younger, fruitier sister. If you thought Japanese cherry blossom was too much for you, this has, the, to me, it has this DNA, but add fruitiness, add like a younger quality to it. And that's what this is. And I love it. So I decided to layer with it Bombshell Intense from Victoria's Secret. And this is a sexy, kind of soft, cherry powdery scent. It's not very complex. Um, it is one that I've noticed when I layer with all the other body care, I get sick of it. And that's when I realize when I'm buying a perfume of Victoria's Secret, I don't need to get the lotion and the fragrance mist to match the perfume unless I'm just totally in love. Because when I mix them all together, it's usually... With this scent, I've noticed it the most. It's too much for me. So I said, well, let me try it with Winter Cherry Blossom. So Bombshell Intense Layer with Winter Cherry Blossom. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. It is so good. It gives a soft, sexy, alluring, powdery cherry scent that is just, oh, it is so good. Y'all. The more I smell Winter Cherry Blossom, the more I'm thinking I might need a backup. Not a whole bunch, but I don't know if they're going to bring this back again. And I wore Japanese Cherry Blossom so much, I, I really can't stand it on my body. I still like the way it smells, but I don't want to wear it. It annoys me because I wore it out. So this is one I'm loving. I am loving this. So this combination, 10 out of 10, Victoria's Secret Bombshell Intense Layer with Winter Cherry Blossom. And they're both red. Okay, so the next fragrance we're going to talk about is the one I believe was the hit out of these kind of single mists they brought back for Body Care Day, and that is Life of the Party. This has notes of pink citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, and shimmery vanilla. Okay, so I believe the first time I talked about this, I was like, it smells like a dusting powder. Uh, after you get out of the shower using that product, you dust the powder. Now, for some reason, I don't know if it's the weather changing. Like, I, I tell you all, when you smell your fragrances and your fragrance mist, sometimes with some of them, you be picking up different notes. It doesn't smell exactly the same. I still kind of get that, but what I'm getting the most lately from Life of the Party is that bubbly Prosecco note. I don't love that note in Bath and Body Works fragrance mist. I've noticed that about me. So when I was trying to figure out what to layer with this and if I wanted to get the lotion um, in this, I, I said, what do I want to bring out? So I kept looking at the notes 
And I was like, I don't want to bring out the vanilla because I don't get any, hardly any vanilla. I really don't. When I smell this, I don't smell vanilla. I smell citrus. I smell the Prosecco. Uh, the jasmine I might be smelling because of that soft, powdery, maybe floral. What I'm getting when I think of body care and the dusting powder, I'm thinking maybe that's the jasmine in this. But I don't get any vanilla. So I said, I'm going to bring out the jasmine. That's what I want to bring out. So I decided to go with um, Terry Mugler's Alien. Y'all know this is either you love it or you hate it. It's a very dark, moody floral with heavy on the jasmine. So I was like, well, this, you know, I feel like, what, what, what this is going to do together? So let's see. Life of the Party with Alien. Oh, it's good. This Life of the Party helps tone down Alien. It helps soften it up, okay? With, and then with some of the effervescentness of this, because it is bubbly. Um, with the more I keep smelling it, I'm just getting that. So it tones down the moodiness of Alien. It softens it. And just together, once it's all calmed down, I get like a jasmine powdery scent that I really enjoy. So after this layering combo, I'm thinking this might be my fragrance mist of choice to wear with Alien. So I'm thinking I'm going to at least, I think I'm going to get the lotion. I think I'm going to get the lotion. I don't know if I'm going to get the shower gel. I'm, I think this is going to be an SAS. So I'm thinking I want to get the lotion to go with it do i need another mist i don't know i really do like the way this softens alien so we'll see but this combination is good life of the party with alien all right next we're going to talk about cozy season now i always say cozy season because this one is called cozy season but this is cozy evening and this is last year's packaging so this has notes of lavender blooms fresh freesia and cozy musk and like i've said before this reminds me of something cozy like a blanket or sweater that you've used you know good smelling detergent and your scent beads and your fabric softener and a good you know dryer sheet and you just mm, cozy but fresh that's what this gives me and i wanted to keep that vibe going so i decided to layer ariana grande's moonlight now this is one, it's cozy. It makes me think of this color. It's very soft. It's kind of lavender, marshmallowy, plum, fluffiness, fruitiness. So layer with cozy evening, you know, this puff ball, hold on y'all. Oh, it just gives a cozy, semi-sweet, fluffy, lavender marshmallowy scent keeps the freshness bring in a little fruitiness bring in a little marshmallowiness and that's what it smells like it smells really good when you want to just relax you don't want to smell too strong you just want to smell pretty but not over the top this is a good combination cozy evening with moonlight all right this next one we're going to talk about is blush cardigan this has notes of sweet raspberries sugar dipped violet and warm amber if y'all watch my I, I love this this is so good this is like sugary raspberries that's so sweet but that amber comes in and it's got a little bit of warmth not too much though it's very fruity but very womanly and I knew immediately when I smelled this and thought about it for a second, I knew immediately what I wanted to wear with this. And that happens sometimes often, but it's rare. I'm like, boom, I know it's going to be perfection. And that's what it was when I decided, um, when I thought about this, love it together. This is Prada Paradox. This perfume I think I did a whole review on it. I will link it above if you haven't seen it, check it out. 
It is one that is a mixture of other perfumes, okay? Um, it's fruity, but with depth. It's got vanilla that you smell. You know, I can smell the vanilla because it's it's not like a gourmand vanilla. It's a it's just a little bit, and it's it's bright, but it's you can wear it any time of the year because it has weight. It's very long lasting, and so layered together with blush cardigan. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. This is the ultimate girly, fruity, flirty combo, but don't think of it in a juvenile way it's girly and fruity but you're adult it's womanly i love fragrances and combos where i feel like it's girly and you know super feminine but still very womanly and adult and that is what this is okay love this combination blush cardigan with prada paradox Okay, y'all, so last but not least, we're going to be talking about the hit of all these fragrance myths I mentioned. This is, I believe, mostly everyone's favorite, and this is Wrapped in Vanilla. This has notes of soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly cream. Okay, this is one, oh my goodness. I like it, but I'm not blown away with it. And I I don't know. It's a warm, good vanilla. And sometimes I pick up like, I feel like I get graham cracker or pie crust in here. And that is nowhere listed because at first I felt like it wasn't really a gourmand vanilla where it was, you know, edible. And now, since it's gotten cooler, I've been like picking up that, that like graham cracker crust note or something in here. It's very warm, it's very cozy. It's a very nice vanilla scent. I just don't know if I'm in love with it. I still don't know if I'm in love with it, but I do like it. So I decided to pair with it because I was just, I'm not, I wasn't trying to be extravagant with this vanilla scent because I can't get a read on it yet for me if I, if it's just backup worthy. Because some people are going hardcore on these on the backups and sometimes with me like i told y'all in some video 99.9 percent .9 of the time with a fragrance mist i know it is what it is it's either going to be a like a love or i don't like it at all and it's at rare occasions where i like it but i'm not sure and then it, it it can grow into a love and i'm wondering it says so many people i love watching are just enamored of this if it's going to turn into a love an absolute love. So this is me venting to you all trying to figure out if I want to get a backup during semi-annual sale. We shall see. But I decided to layer with it fresh cream warm cashmere. This is just a warm, sweet, nutty, kind of a cookie vibe going on. Just very simple and cozy. So layered with wrapped in vanilla, Oh my goodness, it blends perfectly together. It's with it's oh both of these together give you like a warm vanilla cookie kind of scent. It's even hard to differentiate the them between each other when you layer them because they smell to me similar once they're on the skin and blend it together. And even now, like this is a little bit more pronounced. Cause sometimes, sometimes I feel like I get like a caramel note in this and that's what I'm getting. But yeah, most is just very warm. It's cozy. It's you're wrapped in actually a warm, cozy vanilla scent with this combination. So I think it's really good. Fresh cream, warm cashmere with wrapped in vanilla. All right, y'all. So those are all of the layering combinations for the new winter uh, fragrance mist that I did not have, that I haven't done a video on previously. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on these newer fragrance mists. Tell me some of your 
layering combinations. Let me think of one I'm having. You know, tell me especially with Ice Sugar Plum, because I only have one perfume so far that I enjoy with it. I, you know, so let me know um, some of your favorite layering combos, what you think of the fragrance mist in general. And please share this video with everyone who enjoys Bath and Body Works and enjoys layering and playing in their collection, okay? And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.